Hi guys, Mark here. Thank you for joining me. Today's tutorial is going to cover the process of making rope with a hand drill. The result is nice looking consistent rope, which you can use for all sorts of rope projects. There are two major benefits to using a hand drill. Both are connected to the gear system. First off, it is easy to count the number of turns that we do. Secondly, we get a mechanical advantage, meaning that one turn with our gear system means several turns with our hook. So, the process of making rope is faster and more easily managed with a hand drill. To set up for our project, we place a hook screw into the bit holder of our drill. I highly recommend filing down the threads on your hook screw to prevent damaging the bit holder. Next, you're going to need four S hooks. Some twine is going to be used to make our rope. A knife is going to do our cutting tasks. Some sort of a tape is going to be used to secure the ends of our rope. All other supplies are going to be shown during the rope making process. I'm going to be making my rope in between two fixed points. In my case, two sawhorses. I'm going to clamp down one of my S hooks onto one of my fixed points. On the other end, I'm going to attach a clamp Then tie a piece of string onto it to form a loop. I now form a loop using my twine. I pass it from one point to the other and tie it onto the S hook. So I need to cut the twine. I hook my S hook onto the loop. And tie the two ends together using a reef knot. Make sure that you tension up your loop. So here is a closer look. I bring my twine over to the second point. I cut my twine. I take my S hook. Hook it into the loop. Then I tie the two ends of my twine using a reef knot making sure that I tension up my loop. I do the same thing with the second loop and the third one as well. This is what we have so far at our first point. Tie together the loops, again using the reef knot. And this is what we have at the second point. So at the loop. 
I now loosen up the three loops and bring my second point a bit closer to the first one. We now twist our loops clockwise one by one. Prepare your drill, hook in your first loop, twist it clockwise for a set number of turns. Use the same number every time. Our first loop is complete. Hook in the second one. Do the same thing. Twist clockwise for a set number of turns. The second loop is complete. Hook in your last remaining loop. Again, twist clockwise for a set number of turns. So this is the first part of our twisting process. We now hook in all three loops. We're going to twist them all at the same time. This time twisting counterclockwise. You will want to over twist your rope at least a little bit. This is going to fix itself later on. So twist tightly. Here, the over twist is going to fix itself. Now tape up the ends of your rope. Cut the ends off of your hooks. And we have a nice looking functional rope. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that I presented it clearly enough. Thank you for joining me and see ya next time.